Hey everybody, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today we're going to be looking at some new belts from Core, K-O-R-E. Uh, they sent me these here uh, last week or so. And the thing about it, uh, I've had, or I still have, uh, the first belt that I got from them. I mean, I've had no trouble with this thing. The latches stay perfect. It hasn't stretched, sagged, or anything. And I carry a full-size 45 with a 15-round mag. So it does have some weight on it. And I wear my gun everywhere, including out in the shop. I'm up here, I'm down there, I'm bending over here, I'm hitting this, I'm hitting that. And the belt has held up really well. So that's why I was very excited to see their new line of belts. And this time I'm hoping, or what I ordered was, uh, belts in black instead of this uh, tan-like material. But here it is. Come on in. We'll open the box and check them out. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay, cool. Uh, didn't expect this. Here's your uh, instructions, belt guide. Tells you all about it, like the different type of buckles, how to do your measurements, so on and so forth, sizing your belt, and whatnot. A uh, good read. Here is my bill of lading that I got. Let's see, I got a uh, an X2 buckle with a black leather gun belt. And an X5 buckle with a black tactical gun belt, uh, belt hanger, and a belt protector sleeve. So let's, uh, this must be the protector sleeve. I hope I can get it open. Turn this around where y'all can see what I'm digging at here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That is your loop right here. If I could get the thing open, my hands are just not communicating with me today. Come on, guys. Okay, and these are uh, sewed together versus this one that is Velcro. This is the older style. Oh, Lordy, there's screws involved. And, of course, a nice belt hanger. Yeah, that's cool. But, now, let's get to the belt. There's two belts. This is the, quote, tactical. Well, this is a lot different than the other one. And they're nice and soft on the inside. You see they're made out of that tactical material. And that's the one that I've been wearing and had really, really good luck with it. There's how it latches right there. Hopefully y'all see that okay. Alright, so that's the tactical belt. So this has to be the leather belt. So wear dress clothes or something like that on a Sunday. Then I can use this one. Oh yes, looks like a really nice leather dress belt. I do like that. Same construction as the other one and all of that. Let's set that one over here. And the buckles that I chose. But this one is just like the one that I have now, really close to it, as you can see. And let's see what the other buckle looks like. Oh, that's more of a, uh, I'm going to call that almost a black chrome look. That is wicked. Yeah, that one will definitely go with the nice leather belt. 
100% on that. Now, let's get our destructions out here. Trim the belt to your precise size. On the back of the belt, use the ruler markers to find your pant size. So everybody's going to know how fat I am. Wow, there's a lot of extra belt here. Apparently I ain't as fat as what I thought. Uh, my pants are 34-32. So here's a 34 right there. They want to check this before I sort of cut this belt. Okay. Next, add four inches to your pant size and cut using sharp scissors. Ah, that's Triff. It gives the example of me. If your pant size is 34, cut the belt at 38. Cool. Okay, so it's telling me to cut this at 38 with a with a pair of scissors. Do I even own a pair of scissors? Hold on, let me go find some scissors. All right, found some scissors. So says I cut it at 38. Oh yeah, these scissors are fantastic. Yeah, man. Ah, still wear scissors. You're really not that great. Okay, now the destructions are telling me. Gently loosen screws with included hex wrench. Here's a hex wrench. Looks like I'm going to use this black one. So, you don't get no easier than this, guys. See the little screws that I just undone? Just two of them. Oh, put it on the right way, too. Don't do like Paul here and try to put it on there backwards. Okay, and as you see, this pushes, well, you got to loosen the screws up all the way. In my defense, the belt came together. Okay, so that is that. It's, it's just, there we go. That just snaps into place. That helps hold it. It's got teeth on it. All right, now tighten these up. Y'all excuse me, I'm in trouble with my hands today. At least I do send you the Allen wrench to do it. And I reckon if you lose some screws, that's what them others are for, some extras. If I'd quit fiddling, right? Y'all, this is actually a lot easier than what I'm making it look, I can tell you that. Get them bad boys all the way down there and tight. Now, look at that. Alright, that ain't going nowhere for the next hundred years. Y'all, this little uh, tab here, that's your belt release. Okay? Now, let's uh, swap our belts. And as you see, I carry a mag 
fully loaded mag as well so there's your weight use the black one Good. just like the other one it just goes in you don't see that okay and she'll click until you tighten it up just pull this around help hold all that excess Bam, there you go. New black chorus belt. I like it. It's just as comfortable as the other one. Doesn't feel no different. It just looks nicer because it's new and it's clean and I ain't chipped it up yet. But that right there is really cool and it was very easy to do. Yeah, that looks really nice. I like it. Like I say, it's comfortable. And I know it'll hold up because this whole belt here it's really, really done me good. No, I'm not tossing this one. I'll still keep this belt and use it. Because, I mean, it's not broken, so might as well make good care of it. And like I say, I've got this one here that I can wear for my dress clothes. A few times that I do put on dress clothes. And it's a 34, 38. The leather one is a little easier to cut versus that tactical one. But I wanted a tactical one to wear, not because I'm all Mr. Tactical, but it's good for work. I'm going to take this really cool looking like this. It looks like black chrome to me, or that's what I would call it. I don't know what they call it. Y'all go, uh, go on their website and check it out. They had a lot of stuff to choose from. And they had some laser engraved buckles and this, that, and other thing. Different style of belts, different packages. I mean, you name it, they got it going on really well. That's a little tough to push down, maybe for some people with bad hands or arthritis or something like that. But it's not too terrible. And like I say, just tighten the screws up. Alright, that was tight. See how quick and easy that was? If I'd have had something sharper to cut the other belt, it would have been better. Save them extra screws. There you go. That one can go together. Bam, there you go. That is a pretty belt. Yeah, no doubt about that. And like I say, you got your hanger there if you want it. Really easy, really simple. Uh, got a one-year warranty. I don't think you have to worry about that because I've abused the crap out of this one and uh, made that no trouble out of it. So I don't think you'll have no warranty concerns. Or at least I have it and I'm not easy on stuff. Let me take it. Well guys, appreciate you watching the video. I uh, hope you liked it. I mean, yeah, this ain't some big fancy gun that I'm reviewing today or out shooting or whatnot. But this is uh, part of having a gun, especially if you're a carry person like me. I carry everywhere. If the place I'm going doesn't allow firearms, I don't go there. I don't spend my money with them people. I go to places that are firearm friendly only. So a good carry belt is a big deal to me. I used to go through, I don't know how many regular belts, Walmart, Dollar Store, wherever we grab them up at per year. They would just stretch out. And, you know, just more or less wasted money. Spend the money, get a good belt. You know, these cores, they've done me good so far, and I expect they're going to continue to do me good. So, there we have it. Well, everyone, again, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any comments, please throw them down below. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on our Patreon and or the Super Thanks. And please like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. You get a chance, check out cores. They're really cool. Uh, no, this is not some big sponsored video where they're paying me $1.7 million to push their belts. I just picked up a couple of belts. I like their product and wanted to pass it on to y'all because I thought it was a good deal and a good product to have. Again, appreciate it much. Till the next one, 
Well, that everyone has a fantastic day.